Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on estimating the result of a simple calculation. Now we use estimation when we want to have a rough guide in our head of what the result of calculation is without having to do any hefty long multiplication or anything like that. Because doing 37.21 times 18.1 in your head is pretty much impossible. Now the only thing you need to remember from the purpose of the exam is that you should round each number first to one significant figure. And if you don't know what significant figures are, then I recommend you watch my video on that first. So, if you want to take this calculation, we round each of these numbers to one significant figure. Now, this symbol here means approximately equal to, but you don't have to use it. And then this number to one significant figure is 40. And the way I got that is you just look at the first non-zero digit, and then you look at the digit after. Is the digit after five or more? Yes, it is, and so therefore that three goes up to four. Now we have to put a zero after it because if we don't put a zero there and we just put four, then that tens digit has suddenly become a units digit, but we want to keep it as a tens digit, so we have to put a zero after it. What about this number here? Well, to one significant figure, we underline the first non-zero digit, we look at the digit after. Is it five or more? Yes, it is, so that goes up to two. But we want to keep this as the tens digit, so we have to put a zero after it. And now we can just do 40 times 20. Well, four times two is eight, and we've got two zeros on the end, so we have 800. And that's a fairly good estimate, a fairly good guess of what the exact result of this calculation is.